This is the Euro Yen on the five and I'm waiting for a lower low, lower close candle for a trend continuation trade uh, based on a bigger breakout pattern. So the Euro Yen, those of you that are subscribed to uh, the website and uh, you get the signals or even just the links to the webinars that we do, uh, we'll know that we've been looking at this for a couple of weeks now and it's just not offered as an opportunity to get short um, for those targets at the 127. Uh, but as you can see, we're getting close to targets, but they have not as yet been hit. That means if we're moving very directionally, there is still room to go to targets. Here on the 240, there wasn't a great deal. We had this lovely move and then we had this horrible consolidation and we broke out to the downside. Go and take a look at the 60. And uh, we have had a lower, low, lower close here on the 60. If we go to the 15, you can see we're pulling back to this level of structure right here. And if we go to the five, we can see this better on the five. And it looks as though we may be getting our lower low, lower close candle just here. It'll mean stops go an ATR above the high just here. Uh, ATR currently, let me just refresh the page so I can see it properly. Um, a, oops, that's the wrong one. Want it white, white background. There we go. Um, and then we're going to be looking for that 127 extension, which is down at this level. I'm going to be front running, so I'm going to want to take targets here. Let's go back to the five. Okay, so there is my entry, risking 15 pips based on that lower, lower, lower close. Uh, stops have gone just over an ATR behind the highs here, uh, ATR on one pip, and playing for that 127 extension, though I am front running, so targets are 55 for a risk of 15. And we're back for an update on this trade. And as you can see, we're pushing lower now down to those bigger targets uh, of the 127. Um, moving quite directionally here so um, looking quite nice for us to get the continuation lower for those targets uh, make for from the look of it 53 pips something like that we'll just give this a minute it's been a while since i've caught one of these hitting this will help boost the account and we're down now testing our take profit we're just spiking through so all I'm going to do now is implement risk management here. I'm going to move to a few pips past break even. It's my alarm just to say that we've uh, been triggered. Um, the target here is the 127. So even though we spiked through our take profit, it's not taken. Nothing to get worried about. We simply wait. We wait for the price to push down and for it to take. And this will be a nice little, uh, a nice little winner. Of course, one winner by itself doesn't mean a great deal. Uh, I am in a few other trades which are playing. They're up and down on the pound pair. So but nevertheless, this will be a nice win if the market decides to push lower and hit. Okay, and we're back down now at um, our take profit line. We should need to spike past this by one or two pips. Market is moving a little bit erratically. So uh, the spread is probably a couple of pips on this. So that's what we'll need to spike through in order for this to take. And we will just give it another minute. I don't like these videos to be too long, but um, it is always nice to capture them hitting. Uh, I don't want to be just sat here though and waiting. And there we go guys, uh, 53, 54 pips in the end on that trade. 